All right, what up, y'all? It's Matt Shop. So my tiller blew up, and if y'all missed that video, I'll link to it right here. But um, I'm pulling the motor off of this thing, so let's just get to it. I'm gonna pull it off and set it on the ground and get it on the bench, and I gotta take it all apart and figure out what's wrong with it. Nice if I had another person. Man, they don't make them like they used to. This thing weighs a ton. Oh my gosh. All right, well, it's off now, so. Oh. All right, so I got that thing off. Um, I really don't want to have to go get a cheap Chinese Harbor Freight Predator motor and put it on here because it's not going to be the quality of that so let me get this thing over to the bench and then we're going to take a look at it and see what's wrong with it so you know I could easily just go get a um, predator motor and bolt it right up to there but I really don't want to do that obviously I might steal a Honda GX motor like one of the red ones uh, one of the horizontal shaft you know red ones that are really good but I'm not buying a new one because they're super expensive and I have a northern catalog right here and we're gonna see what the price is GX 390 that's too big right here 190 200 cc gx 200 recall start 329 dollars so i'm going to try to steal one off of something if i can't get this thing fixed so let me get this thing on the bench and let's see what's up with it all right y'all so we got this thing on the workbench now now I got all my tools laid out here and stuff, so I'm going to take the head off. I'm going to take all this stuff off the top right here and take the head off and look down in there and see what I can see from the top so I don't have to drain all the oil and take all that crap apart just yet. So let's get started. I'm going to speed this thing up so you don't have to sit here and watch me for hours doing this to get all this off of here. And I'm going to, you know, lay it down and let's get started.
All right, so we got a valve problem. Uh, the exhaust valve is messed up. The intake valve works. I think the spring broke on the exhaust valve. Uh, but the keeper popped off, the keeper broke something. I don't know. I only broke one head bolt though, this one in the back. So now I gotta take the carb off. Flip it around, take the carb off, and look at that little side panel and see what the deal is. It's actually looking a lot better than I thought it was, so let's get that thing off. Alright y'all, so we got valve problems, and you can see I got my light on here, so hopefully y'all can see this better, but this valve was up like this when I took it apart, and you can see it's not supposed to do that. So when we rotate it, we can see that it's working now, but um, what happened was, and I thought the keepers, they broke or something, well, they got worn out, and I thought they might have fallen down in the motor, but they were still wedged up in there, they were just worn out. So I have them right here. And you can see right here they're worn out. You see in the middle, there we go. You see in the middle where it's supposed to, where it's all smooth. It's supposed to be a, like a pronounced like it's supposed to be raised right there, but it's all worn out. So they were like this, and then they just slid off the valve and just slid down, and the valve didn't work anymore. So I got to go get new ones. It's like six bucks for these two new ones at the local store. Um, that way I don't have to pay shipping and all that. So, you can see how they sit on there, like that, I'm pretty sure they go like that, um, and you can see it's worn out. So I'm going to have to go get new ones, um, so I'm going to go get new ones of these, and new intake valve keeper, it's just like a piece of uh, sheet metal, and then I'm going to go get a new head bolt because this one snapped. So I'm gonna give you all a close up here real quick and then I'm gonna run to the store and get some new parts. And then we'll put it all back together and I gotta go through this whole thing in a different video. I gotta take these valves out, 
clean all the carbon up, um, clean all the carbon and all the gunk out of here. Um, I might get these valves resurfaced. Doesn't look that bad, but I'm probably gonna get it resurfaced like if I can for cheap. So I'm gonna have to do that, get lapping compound, put it under here, relap them with the tool and get the seats nice and um, good. And then I'm gonna have to put those new keepers on here, check the valve clearance, it's gonna be a whole thing. So that's a separate video, but let me give you all a close up real quick here. All right, so you can see right here, um, you can see way better. It's going up and down now, but you can see that little sheet metal keeper on the bottom of the intake valve to the right is still on there, but I'm gonna get a new one because I'm not doing this again. So, that push rod goes up and down, and of course, after I do all this, I gotta check the clearances because they were already bad to begin with. I know they were because I checked them before, but I didn't wanna have to do all this, so now I have to do it. Um, but yeah, there's y'all's close up, and there's the keepers. So I'm lucky. I got away good on this one. I got away real good on this one because they could have fallen down in the motor, fallen down those little holes. You know, it could have been a whole thing, but for like 12 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever it takes to get the whole thing done um, and get all that carbon out of there. This thing should be running way better. And uh, yeah, it should be fixed up nice. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and comment while you're at it as to why you think this thing broke. I think it's just old age wear and tear, maybe a little low on oil. I don't know, but let me know what y'all think down below. And so y'all stay tuned for me fixing this thing up once I get parts. Make sure you subscribe while you're at it for more videos of me working on this thing because I need this thing fixed bad. Later.